Hi guys, we are It's Amigas and today guys we're gonna be um talking about our New Year's resolutions. Is that how you say it? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'd be talking crazy. Um, Jenny's mom is having a little get together and she's, yeah, she's doing like karaoke, karaoke like. with her friends. This is welcome to a Spanish household. We're not gonna stop her shine right now. She's no. going in. So if you guys hear a little music in the background, that's it. We're still gonna, you know. Yeah. Um, you guys can hear us good. Your, your phone's on the floor. Oh shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah guys, I'm basically gonna go first and we're gonna go over what we want to do for the new year um, Our gold and stuff because we want to go back and look at it mm -hmm. for 2020. Oh my god, that sounds crazy You're right, 2020 That's sounds it. insane 2020? I feel like the world's gonna end like what? Chill, chill God forbid But oh, That's real Fuck it That's something but um yeah so we're gonna go we're gonna take turns do it individually and then we're gonna do our overall group um resolutions and goals and all that okay guys so i wrote mine down on my computer and my first one is to have a better relationship with god i say this all the time but i get a little lazy i'm not gonna lie i don't be praying sometimes or i'll start praying and then i'll just knock out in the middle of the prayer like like it's crazy like that's that's like one of my main ones because I feel like with God you have everything um, the second one is to be more positive um, I don't have patience so sometimes when things go wrong I just start spazzing instead of being calm and then thinking shit through and shit and things so that's gonna be my second one <laughs> and shit uh, so be more positive is definitely one next one is gonna be debt free I don't have that much debts I have that much things I owe, but I definitely owe a fair share of things. My next one is going to be take more pictures. Um, I don't feel like I'm photogenic, so that goes into being a little more confident, I guess. Um, I don't like taking pictures. I feel like I look better in person. Um, yeah, I just I could take 50,000 pictures now, but like, nah, they're all ugly. So I want to work on taking more pictures, posting it and stuff. You know? Especially now that we're having a big family. You know what? I'm going to talk to you because... You know what the problem is? So social media has a big factor on that because I feel like when I when I'm gonna post something, I look at it 20 fucking times before right. I post it. Like, right. And I'm trying to do no filters. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, Cause, yo, cause the filter be making me look like a hundred bucks. But like when you when I I don't mind posting the the um no I don't mind posting the, any filter on my Insta story. I don't like the animal shit. But on my but on my Insta snap. I mean, on my, on my actual Instagram, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. post right. nothing with, with filters. Like, I want to be more me, you know what I'm saying? I don't want people to, I don't want people to think I look one way on Instagram, and then when they see me in person, they be like, I'd rather it be the other way around. Be like, oh shit, she looks way better in person. Which I feel like I look better in person, but that's that. My next one is have a savings plan. Um, I definitely want to have, like, a, a good amount of money saved when you just don't know. Like, I just want to have a plan and be more, you know, adult-ish, you know what I'm saying? Have a good chunk of money saved. I want to learn how to eat better because I have a very, very big problem. This goes into the saving with eating out. I love eating out. Like, I probably spent, like, I swear, millions of dollars eating out. Like, thousands and thousands eating out. Like, I love to eat out and I want to just eat better because I always feel sluggish. Like I'm always tired and stuff and I feel like that has a lot to do with how I eat. I I will eat a burger, fries, pizza, like I just eat crazy sometimes and I don't like to cook and stuff so I definitely want to eat better and tone my body because I can't even go up the stairs without being tired. Like I'd be over tired. It's another one. The next one is I want to learn how to cook Spanish food. I'm 100% Dominican and I cannot cook Dominican food. That's crazy. I can only make American stuff. I can make like little things here and there, but I can't really. Um, I want to build a platform on Instagram. Instagram is another, um, it's another form of income. It's better for people to get to know you. And I, since we do YouTube and stuff, like I just want to interact more with people on Instagram. And you know, it's another platform that I want to have. And that goes into taking pictures, obviously. I want to have brand deals due to Instagram and, and um, YouTube. 
I want to have that. I want to leave the country this year. I want to leave the country at least once and do a couple trips at least in the United States. At least four trips overall this year. That's, that's basically it for me. Up next is going to be Leo and I'm out. I hope I do this. So, my goals for this year are usually the same thing every single year. I added a few more. But like, the main number one thing I think I've been dealing with for the past four years is my weight. And it's something that I think this year, and I feel like it's different, and I feel like I'm... I always say this, but like really this time I really feel like I'm not going back. Like, once I, once I hit that certain weight, I don't think I'm going back. Like, I've spent the years, you know, gaining weight, losing weight, and it's like this time, all that work I put in to lose the weight, to just gain it right back, like, it's, it's hard. And this time around, it hasn't been as easy for me to lose weight. It's been taking a long time, but I'm trying my best, and hopefully 2019 I get to tone my body and be at the goal that I want to be at. So my like goal weight is to be at like 135 tone, but I know if like I build more muscle, I'll probably be at like 145 to be honest. But like my goal weight is to be 135, 140. Also another thing for me is to be more confident. Um, I feel like sometimes I don't feel as confident with like certain things that I wear, or certain things that I do, or certain pictures that I put up. I just I feel like. That. Right. I just feel like I'm not confident enough. Like I have to feel I feel like I feel like it has to do with like my weight too. Like once I feel like I'm at my weight, I feel I feel like that's gonna be like like rocks lifted off my shoulder. Like it's finally something that I'm just like okay, this is it now. I can be more confident. Um I'm gonna really try my best. Like this is one of the things that I struggle with is carbs. Like I eat a lot, a lot, a lot of carbs. Like a lot, so I'm hoping this year. No, it's gonna happen to cut out carbs, not eat as much pasta, not eat as much rice, not eat as much, you know, portion myself very well. Also, I'm hoping to put on music in 2019, um, make more singing videos, um, grow on my hair finally. Starting January, I know I have it straight now, but starting January, I'm I'm cutting off heat. That's it. Like. It's done. I'm gonna cut the the end, the few ends that I still have, and just have it curly. Unless you're like a vet, <laughs> and you know we gotta straighten our hair real quick, real quick. Then I'll straighten it, but I'm not trying to straighten my hair. Try to bi uh, build a fan base on Instagram, so probably by the end of the year have 10,000 or more followers, and also have deals like Abby said, like be an ambassador for a few things, like that's really dope. Another thing is be consistent. I think that's, that's number like one, is be consistent, Leo, be consistent. If you started, no carbs, continue no carbs. Why you gotta have, because people are around you are having carbs, you, you think you can have it. Like, you know, it's like self-control and stuff, like have more self-control. And then also be more prepared. Be very, very, very prepared. I feel like I'm not prepared for a lot of things. Wait, are you guys laughing? No. no. Um, be prepared. I feel like I've always been a procrastinator in my entire life. Like I always leave things for like last minute. Um, and I just want to be able to get things done like right then and there. Like, okay, Leo, you have to get this done even though it's due three days from now. Like, just do it now. Like have time and then also be closer to God like Abby said that's like one of the main things I think without without him you know nothing's possible. nothing's possible so it's like you need to don't you can't forget about him he's number one without him there's no going forward honestly but that's about it so pretty much everything all my goals kind of connect to each other like once this is done then this can come once that thing is done, then this can oh, come all together. So yeah, it's like one at a time. So it's like a conglomerate. <laughs> that's the word I learned yesterday from Jenny. Um, so yeah, that's my new year goals. So um, hopefully I achieve them this year. All right, so Jenny's turn. Oh, oh, and my skin. I'm gonna try to not use as much makeup anymore. 
so yeah um i'm gonna start with my goals um i just wanted to throw it out there that my main word for 2019 is consistency um i feel like i always say i'm gonna do something most of the times i do it but halfway like i i've been like half-assing shit a little bit um, my first goal is to stop living my life for everyone else. So I have a problem where I put everybody else first instead of myself. Um, when it comes to like, huh? I'm crying. You're crying? Um, when it comes to like, uh, relationships, my family, like I put, and it's a, it, it's, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing, but I feel like I put people first and I actually just got a, a relationship, almost five year relationship with someone. And, um, that shit taught me a lot. Like. I did too much for that person and then it's like to not get that same energy back is, is crazy when after you break with the, break up with them and you notice that. Um, so yeah, it's this year is about um, putting myself first and I already started to, I am already seeing a lot of changes in myself so that's the first goal. Um, my second goal is like my biggest goal I've been struggling with for I don't even know how long so it's losing weight. So I, I've been basic, I've been like 40, 50 pounds overweight since like after I um got out of high school but the problem with me is like I'm not confident so even with having these 40 50 pounds on top like I'm confident but that doesn't make that doesn't um that doesn't mean I'm not comfortable with my body well so yeah so I'm not comfortable with my body at all like I don't like if you go on my Instagram I don't like taking like full body pictures and that's a goal for next year I usually only take selfies and I need to cut that shit out um health is wealth honestly so I feel like now that I'm getting older, I can't eat certain shit, and and shit upsets my body. So I just need to make um, better um, food choices. Um, just basically, the the whole point is to be more confident and be more comfortable in my own skin. The next one is no more procrastination. Um, pushing myself to the limit. Like there's so much growth and so much money to be made that I feel like I just be fucking slacking. Like. You, recently, I just quit my job, my full-time job that I had, and um, I did it to be my own boss. One, I couldn't take working for people anymore, so I quit. Um, right now, I'm a full-time makeup artist, and I do lashes as well, but mostly I do makeup. Um, and that shit's hard. Like, it's probably been the, one of the biggest struggles of my fucking life because it's not like a consistent check that you're getting every two weeks or every week. Like, you gotta like hustle and bustle to make your money and to survive and to eat. So, I feel like I am a go-getter, but I'm not pushing myself to the limit. Like, I could push myself a hundred times more, and that's something that I tell myself every day, and I'm trying to work on every day. Basically, ties to that is being debt-free and financially stable. Um, I'm really confident that, you know, this year coming, like, I'm going to pay off all my debts. I have a couple, just like a school and shit, and when I got this debit card when I was, like, 17, I was getting stupid as fuck. Um... So yeah, um, when it comes to the financially stable thing, um, with, with the type of stuff that I do, you never know when you're gonna make your money. Like, usually the weekends are secured, but you just never know with that. So I kinda have to like, have like a backup plan too on top of that. I mean, that was what the last year was for, but this shit's all a work in progress. That show has to grow. Um, the next one is travel often and experience life. Like, I love to travel. I've left the country maybe like two, two, what's the name? Two, two, three times already, um, but that's something that I want to continue doing. Um, I feel like all of us are so young, we need to fucking experience our life. We need to travel, we don't have kids, we don't have no attachments. So it's not an excuse for us to put some money together and go see different parts of the world. Um, what else do I have? Oh yeah, and the last one, like to wrap things up, is just to remember to put God first and want anything. Um, with him anything is possible and I feel like um I be fake sometimes when it comes to praying like not fake but I just be half-assing shit like I, I feel like I don't know how to do it and I feel like at this point there's no way to do it there's no wrong way to do it you just have to talk to him um especially even this relationship like I'm like oh shit like I literally like you can ask my friends like I cried a little bit I don't even think they seen. Oh, I think they did see me cry once. I told, I called them. I'm like, yo, come and help me pack my shit because I want to fucking go. Yo, we jetted over there and I, I'm, I'm not suffering. I'm happy. The best decision I ever made in my life. Like, I, I still love that person. We're still friends, but like, it's 
sometimes you just be like, oh shit, like God is, is really real. Like when you tell him like, yo God, if this is not for me, take it out of my path. And he takes that shit out of your path, that shit's real. Because yo, when it's like, yo, when I left that person, it was like nothing. Like my, my life was great. So it's something that needed to be done. So yeah, that's all I have. Um, there is a few things that I did miss, like vacation and being financially free. Like, I didn't finish school and I have a few loans there that are just like... It's my big problem. Um, floating around and it's just something that I hopefully, you know, if YouTube pushes through within the next three years, that proves the way, you know? Because I need... I need 10,000! So that, that loca, it's us famous people, 10,000 is nothing, you know what I mean? It's so crazy, I'm not, even even for like, you know, like, just... I think I would be very smart with the money we make on YouTube. Yeah. Like, guys, we don't touch it. Yeah. It's not being touched. We barely even look at how much we make. And so, I don't know, we have to make the decision when we want to touch it all together, but... That's gonna be good when we get cash out. All I know though, that first cash out... You said cash out. That's like cash out. Oh. That first cash out is. Yeah. These days. Yeah, I want to get my teeth done. I think the first cash out for me would probably be like that. Like, I'm just gonna get rid of that. I want to get rid of that now. Like, I want to get rid yeah, of it, but like, if I, I haven't gotten rid of it till, till then, it would be that. No, you would. A little, little bit of other shit. I don't have. I, I, my shit is like minimal, so I like. I really got. I can get rid of it this year if I just like, yeah. Yeah, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, my dumbass didn't go to school, so. Well, that's good. Okay, that's a scam. I did not offense. Okay, you have 10,000 dollars And I got a car from him. Like, I don't even want my car anymore. I need a new car. I'm not, yo. I'm not getting a new car until my car breaks. Just saying. Nah. But anyways, one thing I, I want to do, I want to do, I feel like I need to ease up sometimes. I be taking things a little too serious. Like, when I want something, I have to get it done ASAP. Like ASAP. Like I don't like to wait, and I need to be more patient. Like I like if I think of it now, I gotta get it done tomorrow. And if if it's and that's if it's one o'clock in the morning, and I can't get it done that right day. Like I wanna get it done now. Like I don't need to wait. So I feel like I need patience. All right. So for Isamigas, all together, I have a few things. It's probably gonna be similar. Yeah. So you can say you want me to go first. Oh, so okay. I didn't. Oh. It doesn't matter. I so I don't have much. I, I was like still you. writing it. Yeah, uh, I don't got much either. So for its amigas, as a goal all together, you know, um, to hit a, a hundred thousand or more subs by the end of this, by the end of 2019. Um, what is that? um ours, mine's one of my, That was my first one, but another one that I was thinking of was continue to be honest to each other because that's very hard. Um, that's very, very hard. And, like, if, like, if you guys didn't know, it's hard. And, like, if something is bothering me, like, say it. Because that's really hard. Like, because, you know, this is this is a friendship that we've had for, like, since we were li like, little as girls. And we basically grew up together, so we don't ever want to say nothing to offend each other. So sometimes the stuff is bothering us. I mean, we've been doing so much better. Mm -hmm. Like, ever since, like, you know, guys, we have problems here and there. Don't think we're perfect and we're always like, eh. Yeah. Cause that's not. Sometimes it's like we get on each other's nerves, 100. percent But um, as of lately, like we've been getting along great, and I just want to continue to maintain that, and you know, always be honest. That's another one. Um, my first one that I put is um better content. So basically, with that being said, like I want us to like kind of dig more, like uh, explore more. Like we're grown ass women. We could talk about, we could talk about sex. We could talk about politics. We could talk about things that are actually happening in the world. Like it's hard to stay away from reactions when that's the shit that gives us a clout right now. So that's the shit that we need to do. But um, I want to like kind of do, you know, like the vlogs our and own stuff. our own stuff more. I do want to talk about current events that are happening. I want to talk about, you know, have more talk that talks like have people, yo, because that other time when we had the guys over, like, it was refreshing, like, to have people, like, with us, so, that, that was, that was one of them. Um, another sexy. one I have is hit 10,000 or more followers on Instagram, 
So we wanted some niggas. We want our Instagrams to boom. Please get me to 10,000. You guys been doing very good. Let's say, like, like you guys been supporting. 100%. I know. Like thank you. I've never had. I've never been like somebody who's had like a lot of followers on Instagram, and mm -hmm. I'm about to hit like 2,000. And to me, that's like wow. I've never had 2,000 people follow. Like. And for some people, it's like that's regular. Like I feel like you had it for a mad long. Like you were in the thousands, Jenny was in the thousands. Like when you guys were in the thousands, I was like only in the eight hundred, like seven hundred and fifty. That's not that bad. That's not that yeah, bad. but still, like you know what I mean. So it's just like wow to be at like almost two thousand. And it's so crazy because I feel like too that has to do with what you put on your Instagram. Yeah, I feel like I've got true. so many followers, obviously because of YouTube. But the makeup, mine's just that shit. YouTube, honestly, because yo, I don't post pictures. Like I don't post pictures. I hate. I, I'll do stuff on my Insta story, hit, but I don't. And pictures. I don't know why she doesn't post pictures. Cause I she could post a crazy. selfie right now, a banger one with the lady right here. And I find I will find a hundred things wrong with pictures, so that goes into my one of my New Year's resolutions. But another one that I had was let me open my computer, cause you know my short term memory has forgot. <laughs> I want to build. I want to build a better fan base. Like I, I want to. I want to name the fans. You said right? Yeah, I want to name the fans, but I want to be more like. Like a, like a YouTuber YouTuber. I don't want to just be known for reactions. It's kind of what, what you said. Yeah. But I want to build a fan base where they just know us. Like us for us. For yes. us. Like I want to do like women empowerment shit. Like I wanna yeah, I want to I want to vlog more. That's like one of the main things. I want us to all start our channels as well. Yeah. Like I feel like, I feel like it's Amigas plus. So you guys can know us in depth a little more because obviously we do group stuff. Mm -hmm. Like. Leo sings, so I want her to start her singing channel. Jenny does makeup, so I want her to do her makeup story. And I'm, I'm, I'm very crafty. Like, it's, my sounds all wet. I'm crafty. No, no I'm you're crafty because crafty you could do like, you could do, you can do all different like outfit things yeah. and like, cutting and putting so, together. Like, exactly. People, people watch that. Like, I want to do stuff when it comes to my parties because I, I do, I do parties. Like, I do event planning and stuff. And I want to, when I do start doing modeling picture stuff, I want to vlog about that too. So I want us to do that individually and then I want us to vlog and do just challenges, math stuff because there's other people, we have a lot of lot of reaction people but then there's some people that we, that like the little girl you were saying, was it your cousin, little cousin? Oh yeah. Like there's uh, there's kids that watch us, watches us, that got a cousin from DR that she doesn't even know English and she watches our videos, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I want to do stuff for, for them too, I want to like just to have a good balance because right now I feel like we're not balanced. We're, yeah. just doing, we're just doing what everybody like, like we're, we're just riding the wave right now. And it sucks and it really sucks because you guys, I we feel put like out something else and then even us after saying, oh, we want to try to do it, you guys say, can you react to this? Can you react to that? Like, yeah, but like, I what do you like, guys think we are? Like, I feel like we like to take the easy way out. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna say, true. like, I, I, I know I I agree with what you're saying, but too like it's we need to take the initiative to do better to and do better, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and like be patient when it comes to yeah we didn't get as much views as a reaction, but we gotta keep it because if not like I feel like I don't want it to come to a point where we can't do nothing or we're gonna just be stuck. Yeah, on we can't reactions. we can't we can't be stuck on on negative like oh shit we only got fifty. 500 views, okay, fuck it. Exactly, well, the next we, gotta, we gotta legit push it and do a balance. And I know not everybody's gonna be happy about that because everybody loves our reactions. Mm -hmm. A lot of people love our reactions, but we don't wanna, do, we don't wanna be stuck just doing reactions. So that's okay. like, that's like, I think, besides putting God first, I think that's like my main part, uh, like my main one for, uh, for us. And you know too, I think that falls in with all of us, like trying to be more confident too, because yo, vlogging when you're not confident, that shit's whack. Yo, vlogging in general is hard, because I'm it's like, whack. I don't even know what to say. Could you be like, hi guys. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, yeah. being in front of a camera is not easy, especially alone. Like, and we'll be. I know, feel like you did good though with the hair one. That was good. It's looking crazy. I, did you see the mask one? That, that was, was good. That was a good video. And you got, I got good views. Kid, I'm just like, cause I don't know. I was just like, that was perfect. Like, I, cause I, was I be, cause I watched them before. Cause I need to beat it for my skin. So I beat the old. Because the way it fast. That thing, that thing took forever for me. It took me the whole day. That little thing, it took me. The clip. Like it took me forever. So I just want to do that. And even we'll do match stuff and be like, yeah, we're black. For 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 we're black. And then we'll just end the video. You know what's so, so funny? You know what's so funny that I was going through my videos today and I was like, yo, look at this vlog we never posted. Like, yo, I did a vlog for Halloween. I did a vlog. I still got the, the footage from when I went to Georgia. I did a vlog when I did to jo when I went to Georgia. I got the whole vlog of the three minutes of it. The 3D makeup, like <laughs> we do, we actually vlog it, but we don't post it because we're gonna make. Who wants to watch my family do a gender review? You know what I'm saying? 
because since everybody sold things, so I, I was actually watching Kennedy's. Um, Kennedy posted a video, and she was posting about that. Like, yo, just don't. Even if you feel like you're never gonna get views, just stay consistent with, with other stuff. Like, don't be stuck on one thing. And I really like that. Really stuck with me. Like, I just want. I want you guys to support us with everything we do. But we we at the end of the day, we want real fans. It doesn't matter if we. If we have 15,000 now, if, if those 15,000 ain't watching our freaking videos, like, it's like, that's not real fans. You guys don't exactly. love us for us. You guys just love us for the song we're posting about, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we just want to build something with just real, just real, real fans that love us for us and not just reactions. Right. Definitely. And then, yeah, that pretty much concludes everything. Have I have another one. I put, um... A uh, hosting and throwing more events. That's like a main one for me. Like I, uh, the hosting, whatever. Cause if we get acts, That's we get acts. But throwing events, like I'm not saying I want to throw like ten, but I want to throw at least like two. Yeah. We did. Oh, yeah. And I want to do, um, do that one again. Yeah. I and I want to also do like a meet and greet. I don't know when, mm -hmm. where. We're gonna have to do it in London or in uh, the UK. I, I, I need to do a meet and greet with no. Be my boy. But I just had one, I just had one and I forgot. And the merch too, I had the merch down. Oh, like, even if we don't get to it, but like start brainstorming on it. We have we've been I yeah, feel like I feel like a way <laughs> a way we should start with merch is cause I think a lot of a lot of people ask us for merch. So I think I wanna do it exclusively sometimes for people who ask for it and not just throw it out for the public. Right. Just to see how that goes mm -hmm. and then from there we'll Because people are gonna ride the way we sure. on it. Yeah. Cause we're doing fire yeah. shit. Don't be screaming yeah. out that shit. Like we be going with the bomb cutters and shit. Mm -hmm. So that's another one. Um, damn, I have one more. I can't remember it, but if I remember it, then I'll just write it down and just post it. But yeah, that's our New Year's resolution for 2019. Mm -hmm. oh, Happy New Year to everybody. Guys, be safe. Don't drink and drive. Yes. Um, and I can't wait to see this in 2020 to be. And make sure, and make sure. Sorry, the camera cut off. And make sure you write down your goals and you look back at it. <laughs> look back at it. <laughs> you did it. Uh, you look back at it at the end of the year because, yo, seriously, when you write things down, like I think I write anytime I'm feeling any emotion, anytime I'm feeling motivated, I write it down or I let the world know. I think I've had so many ideas that I've shared with you guys, and that's another thing about being consistent, though. But like, write your ideas down. Write them down. Write everything that you want to do down. Oh, and we want to take trips as a team. Yeah. Yes. Um. What else do I want to say? Oh, I just, I just wanted to say that I feel like this is gonna be crazy. Great, right? Like, I truly feel like you know, you know, we always, everybody always says, nah, 2018 is gonna be my year. This year, gonna be my year. Like, no. and this, 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 is, feel, this is on a different level that I, I feel it in my heart. Like, I feel it in my insides. Like, I feel like. With my business, I'm gonna fucking skyrocket. I feel like with this, we're gonna skyrocket. Us individually, we're gonna skyrocket. Like, you know, we all have like stuff we wanna work on, but like, you know, Leo has her weight stuff. I have my fucking weight shit too. Like, Abby wants to tone her body. Like, you know, we need to do better to be better. And Honestly, you know, and this year we do. Yeah, and 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 I just set something for us like a small one in January from the seventh to the twelfth, where we can't have no carbs, and it's gonna be very difficult. But it's gonna like and that's the kind of thing we need to throw at each other. You yeah, know? we need to we need to challenge each other. Because guys, we help each other, but we help each other making the bad decision. Like yo, we all taking sushi, <laughs> but like, and then Daniel be like, so what's up? And I be like, we out. Mm -hmm. That's what we challenge ourselves to. And we have, we did have a can, the I can't can, because me and Leo are professionals that say, I can't, I can't I get, know. nah, I can't, I don't want to, I know, you know what I'm saying? So we're trying to t stay away from the I can't, especially me when it comes to come taking pictures and shit, I'd be like, nah, I love I really vouch for what you guys said with yourself, especially you, Leo, when, when you said about, you know, like, putting yourself down and stuff, because, yo, we're all beautiful, so it's like, Sometimes it's fucking discouraging to see your friend putting herself down when she's fucking beautiful and and, and this one I don't want to fucking take pictures when her body's fire and she's fire. It's like yo, it's discouraging. Like I, I'm the type of friend like yo, if I could push you, um, I'm gonna push you. But yo, everybody got their inner demons that they need to get through before yeah. they do what they gotta do. Cause if I had everybody, I'd be naked, honestly. Don't push it. So everybody and, and even so like we'll look at our friends and we'll be like, you look what are you talking about? But it's it's all you. And then like, at the end yeah. of the day, and then at the end of the day, when it comes to me, 
If I don't like it, I don't care who yeah. tells me. Yeah, me neither. I don't care who tells me it looks banging and it looks fine. Leo I don't like it. me for like three days straight last week and I didn't like one. <laughs> no, like I'm sending it like, no, I'm not I'm not doing it. If I don't like it, and sometimes I'll even get tired. I've been like, trying more that. like with the past weeks, like putting selfies up and stuff like that, but I really want to post like full body pictures and I need to get in the gym. I'm gonna get regular. I need to get my wardrobe break because I'm not taking pictures with no regular outfit. I need fire. I need sneakers. I need sneakers. I need sneakers. I need sneakers. Mm -hmm. I'm a sneaker head, like, well, I used to be a sneaker head, I don't know about anymore. I'm gonna try I to think I'm gonna be a sneaker head when I got head. money. I used to be. I still have a little, I still have a little collection. I love sneakers, but I really think I need to be a little bit more girly. Yes. I'm OD tomboy. Like it's me too, guys. If it's up to me, I'm wearing. I have a sweats on right now. I, I wear get sweats like, and sneakers everywhere. I want to get little boots, like cute boots. Heels, and, you know. You know I, like, need a, I need to stop it where I, I want to wear chunky heel sandals. Sometimes you gotta wear them, them skinny shits and, and be cute. And your feet hurt it. But sometimes <laughs> I gotta do that. For real. I'm so, I'm so sweaty. But comfort is everything. Comfort is over everything. Because I'm tall too, so it's like. Fuck that. Oh, I don't mean. I don't mean to touch that. Who cares? If I had, I'm walking in there. I'm walking in there with the long legs. You know how many people wish they had long arms? No, nah, I used to, that's something that I accomplished. I used to be very insecure when it came to my face. I don't even know where you I'm not. She wear flat for years. That, that's my ill. I don't like, even own a pair of flats. That's my ill. There's nothing wrong with it with flats, guys, because flats be looking cute with jeans and stuff. But I used to go out, out with like no heels. Now I encourage other people to, um, other tall girls, we're girls. I wanna, I wanna do. Damn, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk for hours. So, yeah, we just wanna help the world become better. I wanna help people this year too. I wanna do. I feel like I came to this world. This has to do with my own goal, but I feel like I came to this world to um, be like to change shit. I've never liked to follow the rules. I never liked to follow the rules in school. Never followed the rules in job. Never followed the rules. Like I always wanna change something. I remember when I was in elementary school. I, I told the principal I drew out a whole uniform for the school. <laughs> I don't know what, what I was thinking, but I drew a video from saying we can't wear these regular clothes anymore. We gotta wear these. It's so crazy. Like I've though. always tried to change the world, and my parents have, have always like um, be like had trouble with me in school, and I just I just feel like I came to this world to to be heard and to be somebody hey. bigger than just. Espera te, no. Espera te, estamos grabando. Cierra la puerta. Okay. But yeah, it's so funny because I feel like we all are like so the same but so different yeah. because it's like even me in school Yeah, I like used I used to just bang out what I had to do honestly because I was I was a very shy person I had no friends like like I didn't really fuck with people like that like until this day I don't fuck with nobody. It's the crazy part like I don't really fuck with people like it depends on your energy like I've always been like that ever since I I was a kid and like really? the reason I'm more in school. yeah because Jenny because I think we were Jenny didn't go to high school, school with you in high school because that's it at that point you know I, was, this I, was, I felt like I, I had more. no friends I had one friend we 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 thought the same. Like Leo was into sports and stuff. We was not close in high school. And still though, cause you, I, people knew who I was like played sports, but it was just like I didn't fuck with nobody still there. I just played sports and I. Did I sat, shit. I sat by myself, like legit. I sat by myself. I did. I never felt like I could fit in. I love people. Like I, I like these two are my best friends, but like. I don't, I don't, do you, do you feel like you have another crew? Like, a, like yeah, cause friends, I have, I have, I have a friend. Friend. I feel like Abby has, has another crew. her share of friends and I have my, but I love people, like I love people's energy, I love to meet new people and I've always been like that, like, I feel like, I guess you could call it popular, but that's why I've always been like, you know, I'll go and I knew everybody, everybody in school, I just didn't that. But yeah, I feel you with the thing about being hurt. Like I feel like I every you felt like you was an outcast, and I felt like I everything just, I did, like I exceeded when it came to my job. Like when I leave a job, it's like drastic. Like they go crazy. When I when I'm in school, I always did good. So I just feel like I need. I'm here to show people my full potential. Yeah, like, like I'm here to show. I like, can't ever stay quiet. I guess she's done. You know what I mean? In jobs, I can't stay quiet. Yeah, that, yeah that's my problem. I can't, I can't stay, stay quiet. quiet. Wasn't afraid of no teacher, no principal, no, no parents, no nothing. I just. I just didn't care to be honest. If I didn't want to do it, I don't care who you are. I'm not doing it. And I just, I, I just, and it's not that I was, try, I wasn't, I was trying to be disrespectful to teachers. Not that I was trying to be a rebel and I was trying to be bad. It's just that I just don't feel like you're a human. I'm a it's human. It's just think they have a certain authority. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. You like don't. you're a human. I'm a human. You're gonna call my mom. You can have myself and call her at this point. Like, I, we treat me with respect. 
and I'm gonna treat you with respect. That's just how I've always been. I don't care how old you are. I'm not gonna disrespect adults because my parents have always taught me that. But you're not gonna treat me. You're not gonna treat me like I'm an animal. Yeah. No. Teachers have a tendency of doing that. So that's yes. why I've always had a problem with teachers. Always and jobs too because they feel like yeah. if they pay you, they're gonna just order you and be and tell you what to do and just know. And just even talk and, to you with respect. and even now I'm dealing like I told you guys like. I work at a school, so it's just like, yo, like they think they have like this, like the upper hand. Like, the it's, it's insane. And, they, and and I work at a school where where we we're a program, so we work with teachers and we like try to do the best for the what's best for the students. So we have to work together. And I remember the student who was struggling, and I'm just like, yo, I think you need to like give her, give her like less homework so that way she can practice on those certain things because you're giving too much to her and she's it's just it's just overwhelming for her and i think she she learned that she has a different learning style and she, she just the teacher was like i'm her teacher i know That's yeah some I people did. don't know how to take like <laughs> but still she says i'm her teacher i know so she felt like she was better than me you know she felt she was better than me because one i'm probably 20 years younger than her so she thinks that i i never i never talk about like how smart I am. I never talk about what I know. I never talk about any of that thing. You'll never hear me be like, but I know this and I know that and I know how to do this. I'm never like that kind of person. I just let my let my shit shine. Like I never talk about that. I like I, I'm mad good at singing. Like I'm never I never do any of those things. I'm very quiet. Like when it comes the time for me to shine and show you what I can do, Actions. that's when I do it. Action speaks louder than words. But I don't even know how we got here. Yeah, basically, like I don't know. We basically, we all this, we all similar but different. Yeah. And we just want to do better and stuff. And let's end this video because now we're gonna stay forever. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys do your New Year's resolution and you guys can share some of them in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. We're gonna encourage you. Whoever wants to start YouTube, start it ASAP. Um, and yeah, guys, we will see you guys next time. Bye.